going to eat? <laughs> so strong, look at those legs. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Hello, you. Hello, me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is Erin. Welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, I make motherhood and lifestyle content here on this channel. So if that is content you think you might be interested in seeing more of, definitely consider clicking the subscribe button and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. Today, I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along on Juniper's little baby routine. Now, she is only 12 weeks old as of yesterday, so when I say routine, uh, this honestly changes daily, but we are starting to try and get her more on a sort of schedule, sleep-wise, nap-wise. Follow along with us on our journey. Some days don't look like quite like this. Today, we are home, just me and her. We're home all day, no appointments or anything, no help from grandma or grandpa. Also, a little bit of background, she just recently started sleeping really well at night. She used to wake up like three, four times at night to eat, and now she's only waking up once around 3.30 in the morning to eat. Today she woke up around 8.10, and yeah, we don't keep her on like a super, super strict schedule with that, just whenever she wakes up. So 8.10 today, so she wakes up and then we eat. I usually do like one side and then change her and then the other side, and now she's just playing with daddy before he's gotta go to work, and we're gonna hop in the shower and have a great day. Right, Cal? This is our drooly cat. Gross. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I like this color on you. It's very cute. Let's go take a nap. Yeah, you've been up for over an hour. Okay, so I just put Juniper down for her first nap. It is 9.53 right now. I put in my little tracker that she fell asleep 12 minutes ago. If you're wondering what app I use, this is just Baby Tracker. I've been using this since she was born. I can track her nursing sessions, which side, if I pumped, it, how long she slept. We use this to track her diapers when she was first born. The only thing we really track now are her nursing sessions and her sleeping. And honestly, that is just because it's really nice to know how long she's been awake, the last time she ate, uh, especially at first. Now that it, we're kind of on more of a groove of things, it's not as important, I feel like, but definitely sleeping, it's nice to know how long she's been awake. And I can really tell when she's getting tired too. She gets these little like bags under her eyes. <laughs> but yeah, nursing is nice to know how long she's been eating and everything, especially to make sure she's getting enough to eat during the day so she's not waking up a lot at night. Also, it was difficult to really show you guys her sort of nap time routine. It's very short for us, nothing crazy. I will change her diet 
over if I need to in her nursery. We'll go into her bedroom, our bedroom. After we darken the room, I will put her in her nested bean weighted sleep sack, and then I will turn on her sound machine, and then I will kind of just rock her back and forth a little bit with the pacifier in her mouth. She drifts off pretty quickly, and then I try and put her down before she's totally asleep. If I just kind of put her right in her crib, she'll just get really hyper and like squirm around a lot. So I do have to get her really drowsy. So we're still working on her skills to put herself to sleep, but she's getting so much better. And then I did have to go in and pop the pacifier back in her mouth once already, but it has been like over 20 minutes and she's still asleep. So I'm really proud of her. <laughs> I do want to just touch a little bit on her sleep. Only recently has she been sleeping really, really well at night. So she goes to sleep between like 7.30 and 8.30 and then she wakes up once around like 3.30 or 4 to eat and then she goes back to sleep for a few more hours. Last night was the first night she didn't even like wake up and fuss at all because normally last week she would like wake up and maybe like fuss a little bit and I would wait a little bit and then I would just put a hand on her chest. The way we have our sidecar crib set up, it's really easy for me to just roll over and put a hand on her chest and sometimes I have to rock her a little bit and she goes right back to sleep. But last night she didn't need that at all. She just woke up at 4.30. Actually, what time did she wake up? She actually went to bed a little later last night because her naps were a little weird and then I let her nap, do like another cat nap and I wanted her up for at least an hour before she went to bed. So she actually went to sleep last night at 9.15 and then she woke up at like 4.45 to nurse and then went back to sleep again from like five to eight about. So that good nighttime sleep is like very recent for us. She's 12 weeks old as of yesterday, like I said. Um, and her naps are a whole other story. I'll show you guys on the app, but she is not really consistent with her naps. She really likes to be worn to nap. We are only really recently trying to put her in her crib for naps. I try and do it at least once a day. Lately, I've been trying to do it twice a day, but she is still a bit dependent on that pacifier to get to sleep initially. And then in the middle of the night, once it falls out and she's like asleep and drowsy, she doesn't need it to go back to sleep. But getting her to fall asleep initially, even at night, we do have to sometimes go in there and like pop the pacifier back in. So at nap time, it's difficult to get her to like fully fall asleep, especially since even though we have blackout blinds, you know, light still kind of gets in through the sides and everything. So I need to go through and re-glue our little magnets on. If you saw my nesting video, you saw that I put magnets on the blackout curtains to close them, but those are like falling off now. So I need to work on trying to get that room a little darker, I think. But we are trying to get her to nap in her crib now. Like I said, if we wear her, she'll nap for like three hours, but in her crib, the longest she's ever napped is like 30 minutes. So we're trying to get her to nap in her crib, but you know, this is just one of those, uh, uh, things where like I said this is her routine but you know take that with a grain of salt Let's see how she's doing still asleep so normally I use this time to eat try and pick up around the house a little bit if I have time and I'm going out somewhere maybe put some makeup on and we'll see how long she goes in her crib maybe today's the day she sleeps for like a whole hour Seven minutes. Not awful, but not great. Mommy's gonna finish her breakfast. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. You're so cute. You look like mustard today. Mustard, my mustard baby. I'm definitely gonna wear her for her next nap. I don't think she napped very well in the crib. So yeah, that's what we normally do. We'll do crib nap, I'll wear her so I know she gets some sleep, and then we'll try another crib nap, and then I'll wear her again for her last nap before bed. So I think it's gonna be one of those days. She's fussy because you did not get a good first nap, but I just changed her, and now we're gonna do the right side, and then I'm gonna wear her, and we're gonna get a good nap, aren't we, BB Bear? And we like to eat every two to three hours. Okay, so I've got her all wrapped up. We're just gonna walk around the house a little bit. This will just get her so sleepy and she'll pass right out.
have a good nap. Starting on the right side. It is 1.20 in the afternoon. She just slept for an hour and a half while I was wearing her. And now she's gonna eat on the right side and then the left side and then we're gonna have some play time. So as you can see by this chart, the days kind of differ. Her nights are getting on a pretty good uh, even schedule but her naps are definitely different every day. And that's okay because she's just a baby. she's having some more play time, I'm going to uh, change my shirt. And then maybe we'll read some books and have some fun play time. You having so much fun? Can you show me how you ring the bell? <gasps> yeah! Hey, you. I wanted to do a little unboxing of this new humidifier from Lavoie. Lavoie? Lavoie? How do you say it? I don't know. But they reached out to me asking if we'd like to try out their new smart humidifier. And I was like, uh, yes. We are kind of a little smart home obsessed here. We have the Alexa. I'm whispering her name. Otherwise, she'll think that we're trying to talk to her. But we have the Amazon Echo, you know, hooked up to our lights and our thermostat and our fans and everything. And we love it. We love being lazy. We love asking her to do things for us, keeping timers and reminding us to do things, all that good stuff. So this apparently can connect to her. So I'm excited about it. And we don't currently have a humidifier set up. And in the winter, even though we live in Florida, it gets kind of dry. Like my nose is always dry and just uncomfortable. And especially having a baby now, we really need a humidifier. So I'm super excited to try this out. First, I'm gonna scan this and get the app. So smart top fill humidifier, aromatherapy, quiet operation, smart control. And I'll link this down in the description, of course. All right, here we go. So this is the dual 200S smart top fill humidifier. Phoebe, are you excited to not have a dry stuffy nose this winter? All right, first impressions, it looks really sleek. It looks nice. It is super sleek looking. Like I feel like this would look nice anywhere in our house. All right, let's get this baby going. Yeah? You making lots of noises? I'm gonna give this all a quick rinse. Ooh, how's it going? Humidity. So if I wanted to, I could also add a couple drops of um, some essential oils and I could have some aromatherapy going on. So I'm gonna sign up on the app. All right, now I'm gonna add a device. Seems pretty easy. Yeah. I'm coming! Hi! Hey, you smiling. Searching for devices, baby bear. Searching. It's connecting. See this? This is our new humidifier. It's very cool because we can control it with our phones. We tap this button over here to cycle through mist settings. So there's an auto mode, low or high. And it automatically adjusts the mist level to maintain 40 to 50% relative humidity. Very cool. All right, let's see if it connected. Alexa, turn off the humidifier. Whoa. Alexa, turn on the humidifier. like it we'll keep it in our bedroom for a night all right so that was really easy to set up and really easy to connect and uh it looks great i'm excited about it I just put 
put her down for her third nap of the day. This one we did in her crib again. She fell asleep pretty quickly, so we'll see. Hopefully we can get her to like 40 minutes again, because I feel like that's a solid nap, right? Uh, I guess I'm just comparing it to how long she'll normally sleep on somebody, but I think she's making progress. Fingers crossed. And while she's napping, I'm just gonna get some work done on the computer, maybe answer some emails, uh, maybe try and list some more of my clothes on Poshmark and Vinted. If you watched one of our previous recent vlogs, I uh, went through my closet and I'm getting rid of a lot of clothes, so. Actually, while she's sleeping, let's get some aromatherapy going on. Okay, it's officially autumn, right? So let's get some cinnamon and orange going. I feel like that's nice and autumnal, right? So let's have it go for, I don't know, 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, it'll turn the device off. And I can change the target humidity. So let's just keep the target humidity at 45. How about that? And it'll turn off automatically when it goes 5% above and turn back on when it's 5% below. Okay. It smells really good. You only nap for 30 minutes. That's okay. We have the light. Woo! What side did we do first last time? Right side? Another reason why I like this app is it keeps track of what side you started with last time because we alternate. So I know a lot of people say do the whole hair tie thing and switch wrists um, so you know what side you started with. I cannot stand having things on my right wrist, so it doesn't work for me. So she only napped for about 30 minutes. It's a nap, it's not a long nap, but that's okay. So now we are just eating. She ate like two and a half hours ago about. Right now it is almost four o'clock. So I think the plan is to try and get her to nap from five to six and then put her down at like 7.30. That's the thing is right now with her naps being so not on a set schedule, it's hard to really set like a definitive bedtime. So we kind of just play it by ear. Sometimes we'll do like two cat naps in the evening if she's not wanting to do like a long nap, but I'll probably just wear her and see if she can nap. We also try and juggle her dad dad's work schedule because he gets home sometimes at like 5 30 sometimes more like 6 30 and i definitely want them to be able to have time together to play before she goes to bed because i feel like he gets home and we eat and then she like immediately has to go to bed so we really try and have her bedtime honestly be closer to like 8 30 than 7 30 so if we have to do like two cat naps to get her there instead of doing like one nap and then keeping her up for like two and a half hours to get her to a later bedtime we'll do the two cat naps and then have her stay up till like 8 30 or 9 just because she likes to have that time with her daddy and he likes to spend time with her so we'll see what happens tonight are you my silly girl are you my silly girl you need a mustard doo? mustard boo -boo -boo. it like this it's pretty nice because then she just kind of chills there and I'm on the computer um, but we did our two naps in the crib today so we're gonna try and get a nice long nap in and if it turns into a short nap we'll probably try and do another short nap and just have a little bit of a later bedtime so we'll see what happens all right so it is 6 20 this little baby bear's awake. She only napped for about 35 minutes. And now daddy's home. He's gonna make us some dinner. We're just gonna all hang out. Should we try and get her to nap again or just stay up until? Might just have her stay up and then put her to bed at well, like 7.30 or something. I think that's what we're gonna do. You should have napped longer. Daddy cooking dinner? She likes to look at the camera. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, let's go change that diaper. Get your long sleeve on, okay? Watch the stop. Alright, so we've got her in her long sleeve jammies. We don't put her in like long sleepers because she runs kind of hot at night. It's still pretty hot outside. In the winter, we're probably gonna have her in sleepers, but it's Florida, still really hot, so we just do the long sleeve and a sleep sack. Yeah, now we're gonna go eat some dinner. It's 7.15 right now, so after Austin and I are done eating, I'll probably go in and start to put her down. Honestly, I feel like this is step one in her like bedtime routine. <laughs> yeah, you pacing back and forth and just like holding her because she doesn't let us put her down at night. Yeah, <laughs> she looks so cute. That pace is getting all thoughtful. It's right before she gets sleepy. Mm -hmm. About ready to go to bed? So Austin's in the bedroom right now. He's setting up our bedroom space for her bedtime. So we always refill the diaper caddy in, that lives in between us in the bed. We always make sure it has like six diapers, even though she really only uses like two at night. It's just good to have extra. Make sure there's burp claws there. I'm gonna close the blinds and make sure my little Hakka ladybug milk collector's in there. Am I missing anything? And we will breastfeed and while we're breastfeeding, Daddy and I will sing lullaby to her and then we'll change her put her in her sleep sack and then we'll do the other side and then we'll turn on the sound machine and turn off the bathroom light and make sure it's all nice and dark and then we'll give her her passy and we will rock back and forth a little bit till she gets sleepy and then i'll put her down and that will be our bedtime do you want to read a book while we're waiting you're my little bear cub both playful and shy Okay, so she is fully asleep now. She passed right out. She's been up for like two hours, so I don't blame her. I fully expect to have to put in her pacifier a couple times though before she fully falls asleep. Uh, I think Austin and I are probably just gonna watch a little TV. I might upload this footage and then we are probably gonna pop into bed anywhere between like nine and 10 o'clock. And that is pretty much our whole day, our whole schedule. Like I said, this is just a single day in our lives. Some days look totally different, especially on the weekends. We like to take walks. We like to go in the pool. We haven't been spending a ton of time outside during the week just because it's so hot outside still, but that is for the most part our daily routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. <laughs> you can't do this with you in the room. Like and subscribe. <laughs> If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Shut up, I'm trying to end the video. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>